Hey guys, this is uh, Tim Mills with City State Entertainment, and I just wanted to give you an update on where our building prototype was at, uh, show you what we've got, um, what kind of progress we've made in the last couple of days. So uh, we went in and added a bunch of features that we talked about in the original video, um, things like blueprints and texture fill and some other uh, cool usability tweaks. Um, we also prettied it up, so uh, Michelle's got some new textures in there that look really great. Uh, they're, they're nice and normal mapped, so they've got some texture to them. You can sort of see them pop a little bit. Um, as far as the features go, um, Blueprint allows you to go in and just capture an arbitrary re uh, region, sort of snapshot it and uh, place it down in other places. You can see in the video, I basically build one face of the house and then assemble it um, by copying and pasting it. We've got uh, texture fill in, so you can go, you know, hey, I don't really like that this, uh, this area is stone. Let's just turn it all into wood or brick or whatever else. Um, makes it really easy for, you know, getting the look and feel that you want of whatever structure it is that you're building. Um, in the original version, the camera was really rough. Uh, it had two cameras you can see in the video. Um, I've improved the camera. It's got a free fly cam. Uh, lets you zip around, place things wherever you want. Um, ray casting is in so that you can do interesting things with a mouse. It was entirely um, keyboard driven before, so you can click to jump around your cursor. The flood fill works off of that. Uh, bill of materials you can see in the top right. Uh, it shows you what units you've placed how many of each and, and gives you a total. Um, so something like that might be available so that once you're done designing a house, you can go out and say, okay, I need you know this much wood, this much stone, whatever, so that the guys who are building it have all the materials they need. Um, we've also done some interesting stuff just for the appearance so that it doesn't look uh, as tiley as it did before. Uh, the textures are stretching across multiple blocks. It looks a lot better. It, it, it doesn't have that sort of uh, you know Windows 95 tiled background kind of look to it. Um, uh, overall, it just looks better. Um, so those are the, the features and appearance updates. That's uh, Builder version 2 of the uh, Camelot Unchained building tool. Uh, you guys gave us some feedback on the uh, wanting this to be a standalone app, so we're exploring that uh, internally, and uh, please give us more feedback. Tell us if you like it. Tell us what you don't like about it. So this has been Tim Mills with City State Entertainment version 2 of the building prototype. Thanks.